everyone, welcome back to a new video. If you are new here, my name is Anushka. Thank you for stopping by to watch this video. It means a lot. It honestly does, guys. I just... The fact that you guys take some time out of your day to watch my videos just... It makes me, like, all feel weird inside, you know? But... How did I even get onto that, anyways? Today, I am finally going to be doing a skincare video. I'm going to be giving you a kind of in-depth review of the new Revolution skincare range. Um, they came out with a bunch of skincare products, which I would say is kind of similar to the Ordinary range. The bottles and the ingredients, it kind of has that The Ordinary vibe, but anyways, they've made their own but I wouldn't say they're exactly the same to ordinary products. Before we jump into the video, I'm going to do a post notification shout out. Um, if you're new to my channel, I basically give you guys some shout outs. If you have mentioned that you've pressed the bell button, um, or if you just leave a really nice comment and you, you showed um, support for a long time and I've kind of noticed it. And yeah, I just give you guys a little shout out but anyways today i'm gonna give mine to anika hussein thank you girls so much for all the support you've been showing me for like years now and um, she's such a sweetheart go check her out she does have a youtube channel oh my god guys i've got this like weird lump here like it hurts so bad i think i'm getting sick let's just hope that i'm not because i really don't want to be sick when I do skincare videos, I like to do it with a bare face because you guys can actually see what my skin looks like. I am kind of in daylight. I do have my light in front of me, but, you know, this is what my skin looks like. I do have some scarring here and there, and I'll explain why in a bit. It's really difficult to give skincare reviews because you need to have tried it for at least a month and i don't even think that's long enough but i have been trying this for a month now so i feel like i can give some opinion on it and you know results i've seen i don't use all of them all in one go i've kind of like slowly added some bits and i've kind of noticed some that don't work for my skin so i can actually pinpoint which one's affecting you know i kind of added once every few days if not a week but I started off with I would say two free products um but I'm actually quite pleased with some of them I have some favorites um and I I do have before and after pictures from when I started the the, the skincare till now um which I will pop on the screen now I don't know I don't really see much of a difference I, I can say that I'm more comfortable wearing no makeup these days apart from that like i don't see much of a difference apart from the way my skin feels um one of the products really helps with like skin texture and that's one of my biggest issues i have problem with skin texture dryness and um sometimes flakiness around my nose and around my mouth area and uneven skin tone I do have dry combination skin, more to the drier side, but sometimes I do get a bit oily in some areas. Let's just jump straight on to, you know, talking about the products. The first thing I'm going to talk about... I'm going to start off on serums first, because that's the first thing I would put. I've lost my favourite one, one of my favourite ones. Okay, so the one I've been really liking is the... Kiwa or quinoa? Kiwa? I think that's how you say it. The Kiwa Night Peel. This is the box actually, but I've lost the actual product. I have no idea where I've put it, but I do really, really like this one. On the box, it says that it's a gentle night peeling serum. It helps boost skin radiance and encourages a smooth skin texture. By the way, all of their products are vegan, cruelty free, and fragrance free. Actually, there's two products that aren't fragrance free, but that's okay. I'll get into those later. But I actually kind of like when there's a scent, but I don't mind if there's no scent. It's even better if there's no scent because if you have sensitive skin, it works out better and it's just healthier for you. So here it says apply once per day, ideally in the PM. So I do use this usually in the night time. This is like so nice. There's no tingly sensation, but after like a few days of using this, I definitely noticed like a softer skin texture. Like I could feel that my skin kind of felt softer. So I really like this. I'm going to check the price actually. You guys have been asking for a review on these for the longest time and I do I will have another separate video of 
um, just general products I've been loving um, for my skin. It also says that it has vitamin B, quinoa has a, is rich in vitamin B and it helps to brighten and rejuvenate um, the skin. I don't know, I just really feel like this product's going to be good for skin texture and just overall even a And just overall evening out your skin tone so i love this product i like the idea of it i love how it, there's no scent to it but it just feels nice to put on as a serum and i feel like with time it's really helped with skin texture and just overall evening out you know i'd really like this i do like it and it says use one to three times per week i did not know that i've been using it every day but i do use it in the night time maybe don't use it every day then <laughs> Um, and it's £8, so it's quite affordable. There are some reviews on here. Let me see the reviews. Someone said it resurfaced their skin overnight. I definitely feel like it really... Because that was one of the first products I used along with the moisturiser. And it really helped. Like, my skin felt so, so soft. Like, so I do... Definitely that one is a thumbs up for me. Okay, so now the next one was the 5% Lactic Acid and Hyaluronic Acid. Now, I only tried this once and I really did not like it. Um, the only thing is, I don't know, it smells off, like, it just doesn't feel, feel smell right, and I think that was the only thing that was really off-putting for me, and I didn't really want to use it again, so yeah, this is what it looks like. They mostly will come in this, like, pipette bottle kind of thing, there's, how much, 30 ml in each bottle, um, but yeah, I don't really like it. Now, it isn't because I don't like it, it means that you guys won't necessarily like it. I'm just giving my opinion on this. So this one is £6. It's a mild skin exfoliator. Helps to improve the look of skin texture and encourage the appearance of radiant firm skin. Now, I already found that worked for me in the Kiwa Night Peel. I hope I'm saying it right. Otherwise, I'm just making a fool out myself. But I already found that that one worked, so I didn't really feel like I needed this one. So I just didn't use it at all so I'm just giving you guys what I actually thought of it and we only use it once to be honest so I can't really give it a full good review on it okay so the next one I was actually torn about and it's the high 2% hyaluronic acid so this is a plumping and hydrating solution helps improve skin hydration and encourages soft and supple su uh, soft and supple skin my skin does not like this stuff this is what it looks like. It's very watery. Um, it does feel nice. Like initially, I was quite surprised by the um, the um, kind of like the formula. If it reminded me of the Bobbi Brown, um, I forgot the word. I used to use this toner solution, and it was such a nice, beautiful product. I have to get some of that again soon because I love that product. But it kind of reminded me of that and I really liked it so once I put it in my skin it felt so nice and you know really hydrating um, but not greasy hydrating like a fresh hydrating feeling but then literally the next day my face was full of like literally it was hives on my cheeks like little little bumps everywhere so I was like is it this so basically I stopped using that straight away and then my skin went down I wanted to put it to the test again like a week later to see if it was really this and I put this the next like it wasn't even the next day like a few hours later hives again so my I guess I'm allergic to this I don't know but my skin definitely did not like it but I really did like the the texture of the the stuff like how it felt on my skin so that's a shame because I would have kept on using this because I really did like it so this was six pounds to be honest, a lot of people seem to like it on the website. There's quite a few review, more reviews than the others, I would get, I would say. Okay, so the next one is this EGF serum. Like, I get so confused by these, but this is a skin conditioning serum. Helps rehydrate and condition the skin. It encourages a radiant complexion. This one has a different type of packaging. I don't really understand this like it does feel nice on the skin like it feels like a, a jelly kind of consistency when you put it on this is £10 so it's a bit more pricier than the others it says it contains plant-based EGF a protein that naturally occurs in the skin to help boost the youth youthful look of your complexion I just use this when I want extra hydration to be honest like I'm already happy with the quinoa one but I do now and then go for this one. So I don't know. I have 
I don't have much to say on this one. It just feels nice on the skin. I feel like because the hyaluronic acid one didn't work for me, this one's kind of like a good replacement, I would say. Alright, now we're on to... I think we're going to go on to the un, uh, Targeted Under Eye Serum. It's 5% caffeine solution and hyaluronic acid. I've never really seen a product like this. And when I tried it... Like, I was quite surprised at the watery consistency of it. Like, you're supposed to put that on your eyes. Again, it doesn't really have a scent, but I've been liking it. I put a little bit under my eyes. And I kind of like this compared to a normal moisturized eye, eye cream because I easily get milia around my eyes. Like, that's where, like, fatty deposits build underneath the skin and it's so hard to get rid of and they create little bumps under the skin. The only really way you can get rid of them if you go to a dermatologist and they kind of like extract them themselves they you have to numb it and it's just a whole process okay but um i like this because it's quite lightweight and it has the caffeine so it kind of wakes the, the skin up a bit and it's got hy uh, hyaluronic acid i get really dry under my eyes sometimes so it does help to hydrate as well so this is six pounds which i think is a good price it's an it's actually an under eye serum and it helps to reduce the look of dark circles and improves the appearance of under eye puffiness it's the only thing i've been using under my eyes so i feel like it has made a little bit of a difference um to be honest my under eyes are just really hollow but i do have some pigmentation and i feel like it has helped a little bit because when i was looking at my old old videos um the other day and my skin was so uneven like honestly that was my main issue to be honest and i feel like I didn't get this over like my skin has improved but that didn't happen overnight i've been so consistent with skincare um and even this like i've been using these every single day especially the ones i like making sure i follow a strict routine um and i think that's how you get results and also you have to drink water because that's number one if i'm not drinking water my skin's gonna look awful it's gonna feel awful these products are kind of like a boost but you need water guys i know everyone says that and i used to be that person who was like I, what are you talking about like i don't need no water okay give me some apple juice <laughs> i kind of get it now because i've increased my water intake a lot lately and it's definitely helped my skin so it's true guys you need your water i did get sent the niacinamide and zinc this is, this is to help re um reduce the look of blemishes and pores i didn't really use this so i can't really give um a review on this one don't feel like you need to try every single product from their range. Just get ones that are, you know, good for your skin concerns. You don't need to use every single acid out there, okay? You're just going to make your skin overwhelmed, feel overwhelmed. It doesn't need all of that. Okay, I also did try their Hydration Boost Moisturiser, which comes in a little pot like this. Um, it's just a lightweight gel cream. To be honest, my boyfriend has been using this. I know a lot has been used, but it's my boyfriend that really likes it. He has more like oily skin type. Actually, his skin type is quite weird. He gets really dry in some areas, but some bits get so oily. So I think that's why he really likes this one. But it doesn't work for me. Like it's not hydrating enough. And I have really dry skin sometimes and it just doesn't do the job. Like after putting it, I still feel like my skin's tight and dry. So it's not for me guys. But I think if you have oily skin, you're gonna like it. It's a very lightweight moisturizer, I would say. And this is eight pounds again. Not a bad price. I mean, he's been using this for a month now and it's still halfway there, so you don't really need a lot. I have talked about this in a recent tutorial, but this is the Superfruit Extract Primer. It's antioxidant serum and primer. This stuff. This stuff is so nice guys. It kind of smells like cocoa butter and it kind of looks like, I don't know if you can see, but the product itself looks holographic kind of. It's like a gloopy, sticky consistency, but it gives such a nice glow. It feels so hydrating. Oh my God, guys, I just love this stuff. It sits so nicely under makeup. I've been using this mostly every time I wear makeup since I got it. I just really, really like it. So I definitely give this one a thumbs up and it's £10. So it has that iridescent shimmer for like a glow, which I love. It helps to fight environmental damage. I feel like it's more of like a primer than a serum. I think the, the serum side is more for like in the pollution and things like that, like protecting your skin. 
um but yeah i really like this guys definitely give this one a go and i trust trust me you're gonna love it so this one was definitely one of my favorites and the other favorite that i love and you can tell like uh, i'm all, almost halfway through it is the gold elixir um rose hip seed oil guys this stuff just feels so nice it smells like a fresh lemony zest kind of scent i would say it's super hydrating it feels like the oil actually goes into your skin and not just sit on your skin it's not like a heavy heavy oil but it does feel really 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 nice on the skin like look at that i love this i only wear this at night oh yeah and it has like um gold flecks in it it's kind of cool but you have to shake it because that's the only bad side like it sits though is that the gold flex sit at the bottom so you have to give it a good shake to actually you know see the flex when you kind of drip the product like um drop the product out it's ideal for dry skin dry and combination skin before applying makeup i wouldn't apply this under makeup it's just too oily uh, rich in essential fatty acids helps smooth away dry skin gives a healthy a healthy appearance while subtle gold flex gives your complexion an unbeatable radiance I do agree with that, it gives such a beautiful glow. It has grape oil, sweet almond oil, sunflower oil, lemon peel oil, citrus, orange peel oil. It just smells really fl um, fresh and to be honest when you look at the ingredients they're not too many like it's not this really long damn list and you're just like what the hell is in it like but this um, gold elixir has a lot of oils from what I can see in the ingredients list. I don't know, I just really like it guys, it's helped so much. Let me read the reviews, I'm curious to see what people have been saying about this. What is unexpected is the addition of several other oils, including grapeseed and lemon. I suggest checking the ingredients if you have issues with some oils, ensure about the gold flex, but they do look pretty. Yeah, the gold flex, like, they kind of just build up at the bottom, like, I think this person has noticed that. Um, but yeah, there are a lot of oils in there, which, I don't know, I really like that. I love when my skin feels super hydrated, so, yeah. And again, this is £10. I love it. Like, I would definitely recommend the Superfruit Extract and the Gold Elixir. Like, these two are beautiful, beautiful products and I've been using them every day. And again, like the Quinoa Peel, I think actually these three are ones that I'm going to use on a day. I've said as much as I can on these products. I hope you found this review helpful. I will link all the products in the info box if you guys are interested. And if you have any questions, let me know. They do have other bits to their line, so check their website out because I haven't tried all of their products and you don't need to. You only need a few, guys. A lot of people feel like they need to use every single acid, every single moisturizer, every single serum, and you just, you don't need that. I have really dry skin, so I mostly go for like a hyaluronic acid stuff. I, I always stay away from lactic acid. I don't know why I don't really use that on my skin. I do have this feeling that ordinary products are more pure. Like when they say there's this and this and this and it, there's that, that, that in it. Like for example, their rosehip oil, the one I use, there's literally only rosehip oil in it. It's 100% that. This says that it's a rosehip seed oil. There's so many other oils in it. So I feel like the ordinary products are more pure. Like there's nothing else, you know, reminiscent other ingredients in it that's the only thing i would have to say and i also do feel like the ordinary products are cheaper so i'm still going to use a mixture of both i do really love some of my ordinary products but i've also discovered some really good bits in this range as well for example the hyaluronic acid one that didn't work for my skin there's a few ingredients in there and maybe that's why that didn't work for my skin whilst um, I've tried so many stuff from The Ordinary and they've worked fine for me. I've never had any type of re reaction and I barely have any reactions to stuff. Like, my skin is so tough. Like, it can, you can put anything on my skin and it won't react. So, the fact that that did, it just makes me question, like, the ingredients a bit. Uh, okay, guys, I'm going to stop blabbering. I really do hope you found this video helpful. Make sure to keep a lookout for my other skincare video that I'll have up maybe next week or something. Just talking about some other products from different brands that I've been loving and I would definitely recommend for skin texture, evening out your skin tone and things like that. Make sure to drink your water, okay? Anyways, give this video a big like. Subscribe to my channel if you're new and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!